Guys, if you've watched my channel or maybe you're watching it for the first time, you know, I like RPGs, really like RPGs, especially those like PS1 era RPGs. And I really like arcade style of games, more specifically uh, shoot 'em ups, you know, games like, and we're talking about the Nintendo Switch here, S Prey or Extra Sensory Perception, uh, Gun Lord X. This is an excellent game. Uh, it's a remake of actually this game right here that came out on the Dreamcast and the MVS and AES, but. The problem is with this Nintendo Switch here, the D-pad, you know, Nintendo, if anyone from Nintendo sees this video, please do something, release a Nintendo licensed D-pad left Joy-Con. This is the closest thing I can get. This is a Hori um, left Joy-Con. It, it kind of sucks. It's not the greatest D-pad. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of good things about this D-pad. I don't like it. Here's the solution though. Okay, and don't make fun of me for my uh, skin. The only reason this skin's on here, I know it's a Pokemon, isn't it, right? The only reason that's on there is to protect the Joy-Con. Anyway, if Nintendo replaces these buttons right here with one of these, like, Super Nintendo style, and this is a, a Nintendo official product right here. This is the uh, Nintendo Online uh, SNES controller. If they put this on here, bam, problem solved. So, Nintendo, if anyone from Nintendo, again, they sees this video, please make this happen. Anyway, let's unbox some shit. All right, so the first game we got to unbox is Prinny 1 and 2 Exploded and Reloaded, and this is, I guess, the Collector's Edition. It's called the Just Desserts Edition. Um, you know, everything's in there, you would think. You know, art book, soundtrack, there's a cool little poster in there. My buddy uh, Dan from Rebel Gaming Club, he's, he's got this one coming to him. He's excited about this game. But uh, I ain't pre-ordered this one. Let me tell you how I got this one. So, I was looking for, you know, what video games I could get this weekend. I hadn't bought a video game in a few weeks. I looked on Best Buy's website, saw the printing one and two. Now, let me just say, I've played these on my PSP before. Um, not only just the ROMs, I actually have the original collector's edition of the first PSP game. So, look online, see GameStop, or not GameStop, see Best Buy's got one copy. I go there, I don't see it. I ask a girl in the aisle, usually they run up to you, but this particular day, which was yesterday as of the recording of this video, they ain't have it. Asked the girl, she was like, oh, oh, yeah, the Penguin game, right? I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I play them games on my PSP. Anyway, she wasn't trying to get it for me. Turns out one of the people that worked there was trying to cop it, and he ain't want to put it out there on the shelves, right? So uh, I was like, all right, well, cool. I'll just order it on my phone real quick. As soon as I said that, she runs in the back and comes out with it. And uh, I kind of feel like an asshole for doing that. But um, uh, let me just say this. Maybe this is the karma I got from that. Um, I'm not really feeling this game, y'all. I'm not. Um, I'd say that this might be the complete unpopular opinion. I have no idea. I say if you want to play these games, you know, download the ROMs and play them on a on a hack PSP, which is extremely easy to do. Um, it just I play these games on the PSP. They just feel better. And these ports, I mean, they look like just straight PSP ports. There's not like a whole lot of graphical upgrading going on here. There's, there's a little, but it's not like what you would think. Um, yeah. It's just kind of weird. But anyway, the like art book, you know, art book's cool. And, you know, Prinny, I'm not a huge fan of the Disgaea series, which is where these characters come from. These Prinnies, they're like uh, once human souls. And, uh, I don't know. I'm not a huge uh, Disgaea fan. I actually, I have played a, a couple of the strategy RPGs, not all the way through or anything like that. Um, but I've heard a lot of good things about that series, though, so maybe it's something I might want to get into. I know it plays more like um, Vandal Hearts than it does like a regular a strategy RPG, right? Look at this little, uh, it's like a Lego action figure of a printy. Now, that's pretty cool. Obviously, I will not be putting this together. I'm just going to leave it in the pack. But here we go. We got the game right here. Um, and, you know, I think about collector's editions today. And, like, I know this thing's not going to have a manual in there. Um, but, you know, you're going to put together a collector's edition with a soundtrack and an art book. And uh, this one's got a poster and a Lego set. But you ain't got no manual. Like, it's, it's, kind, it's just kind of weird. But... Anyway, there's the soundtrack. Um, soundtracks are good for people like me that upload YouTube videos or maybe serious YouTubers. Um, it's a good place to get, you know, music for your YouTube videos. You know, sometimes you get hit for it, but a lot of times you don't, especially that more retro stuff. And we do not have a manual, just like I said. But that is a pretty cool reversible cover art right there. It, it's made to look like the Disgaea logo, and it says Prenny. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Um, but yeah. You know, there we go. That's everything you get with Prinny 1 and 2, the Just Desserts Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Now, here we got the Hotline Miami Collection. Now, I went to one of my local game stores, a place called Regen. It's in the White Marsh Mall, not too far from me. 
And uh, you know, I was going there like, "Hey, y'all got any good shooters in?" They're like, "No, no, no. We got some. We got some new games in though." And I was like, "What you got?" He was like, "Well, you played the Hotline Miami collection." I thought they were talking about Shakedown Hawaii, and I was like, "Hey, I played that." But turns out it was this game or collection of games, or I guess collection of levels is what it would be. So the guy was telling me about it, pulled his phone out, started showing me some gameplay footage. It looked pretty interesting. And at this point, I have played some of this game, and it's. It's pretty decent. It's a, a twin stick shooter of sorts. It's really violent. Um, pretty good game. It was uh, it was forty bucks at the store, so I'm assuming um, if any of the game stores in y'all's area have this game, it should be uh, right around the forty dollar price point. I mean, that's what it costs retail at the game store. So you know, not too bad. But you know, the first thing you see is a nice little manual in there. Look at that reversible cover art. Um, I like when the spines aren't just those red Nintendo regular Switch spines. I like when they do something different. Uh, Earthlocked had that teal spine. This one's got a cool black spine with some gold lettering on it. So that looks looks pretty cool. And that that's some thick. Um, that's like a fancy like business card right there. Look at that. You could smack somebody in the mouth with that manual. That's a <laughs> that's a thick manual. Um, full color. You know, dig the manuals in some of these games. It's gl I'm glad to see some of these game companies are keeping keeping shit real with some of these game manuals. So I give them props on that. Um, you know. Yeah, some of the older retro games, you know, they were more like collector's editions with their manuals and everything than just the collector's editions that come out today. They don't even have a game disc in there. They just got a download code or some shit like that. So it's just crazy, right? But, you know, this game, it's got the notes section, y'all. The notes section. I, I totally dig that. You know, that's a, it's a nostalgic feeling seeing a note shot, notes section in a game manual. But, yeah, awesome manual. Again, like the, the, the binding of the manual is super thick. It's like someone's, like, impressive... Uh, business card um, but anyway that's the hotline miami collection for the nintendo switch real quick guys before we bounce and i want to talk about this real quick because of turbo thunder 16's video about the anti-lag on the nintendo switch controllers my favorite d-pads for the nintendo switch i'm just talking about in dock mode now uh, first one this is actually my favorite is the snes controller excellent d-pad again nintendo just mix these two together you're good to go second obviously is um the Pro Controller now, I've heard a lot of thing, negative things about this D-pad, although it's not too, too, too bad. Um, it, 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 it's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Um, and my favorite for shoot-em-ups, although it doesn't work on games like Xenocrisis, is the D-pad on the Sega Saturn controller. Um, it, it, it's excellent. Again, the only reason I don't like it for Xenocrisis is because these buttons should be mapped to the direction that you're firing. And I don't know, maybe there's a way you can uh, you can kind of swap the controls out. If you can, then I would actually recommend it at that point. But straight out the box, absolutely not. Just for Xeno Crisis, for every other shooter. Like, imagine playing the Panzer Dragoon remake with this controller, right? Anyway, just wanted to go over that real quick, guys. Till next time, peace.